Hi there, welcome to my video about oxycodone. This video will learn you short and to the point how and when to use oxycodone and will tell you everything you need to take into consideration. I also made a more in-depth video for if you want to learn more. The link to that one is in the description. Let's get started. First of all, a little disclaimer. This video is purely meant informational. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, please contact your own doctor. Oxycodone is an opioid and it will help you to lower pain, anxiety, and it works sedatively. The generic name is oxycodone, but it's also um, known under all these brand names. So Oxycontin, Oxynorm, Oxydose, and all of the others. It's available in capsules, tablets, and in injections. And it can be used to uh, when you have severe pain to lower the pain or after post-operatively after an operation again to lower your pain. When do you use it? You take it with water at fixed times uh, so you build up a certain level so you don't experience pain peaks and usually you take it within four to six hours after the last dose. How long can you use it till your complaints are over? And then you gra gradually reduce your dosage under the supervision of your doctor. Regarding safety, um, if you're looking at driving, you need to wait two weeks after the start of oxycodone to see what side effects you're experiencing. And if you are, are experiencing drowsiness, confusion or dizziness, then it's not safe to drive while using oxycodone. If you're not, then you can drive uh, regarding that you do it safely. For alcohol, uh, the use is restricted, it can increase the side effects and uh, it's not safe to combine it with alcohol. And regarding food, you should not take grapefruit um, together with oxycodone because it may also increase your side effects. So please be careful with that. If you're looking at the dosage, if you take oxycodone for uh, chronic severe pain, adults and children older than 12 years can take 5 milligrams every 4 to 6 hours. And if you have uh, regulated release capsules, take 10 milligrams every 12 hours. Then the dose is increased based on the pain experience and the tolerance you built up. And you can increase a maximum of 50 to 100 percent of what you're taking every 24 hours. But please do so um, based on the advice the doctor gives you. For side effects, um, this is just a small selection of the side effects you can get. So often, more than 10% of all people will get sedation, drowsiness, constipation, nausea, vomiting, headaches, and 1-10% to gets uh, anorexia, which is uh, no hunger, diarrhea, abdominal pain, a dry mouth, dizziness, tremors, and some others. If you think you may be experiencing one of these or any other side effect, please check your description and contact your doctor. Then, regarding pregnancy and lactation, um, oxycodone passes the placenta, therefore may be only used on strict indication, because it can be harmful for you and the child. And then regarding breast milk, it passes through in the breast milk, and therefore uh, the use is advised against while you're giving breastfeeding. So, be careful. This was my video about oxycodone. Uh, feel free to subscribe for more medical content. I also made a more longer, in-depth version if you want to learn more. You can find that one in the description. Thank you for watching. See you next time.